This occurred at, uh, as a result of me leaving STSU and walking out of the library. Google organized stalking and or gang stalking appears how they appear at entrances and exits. Listen carefully to what's said in the background as I walk out the door. saying gang stalking now in the background on trolleys, stores, walking, and I'm just now discovering it when I go to re-listen to my digital audio files, flat out, which is a good thing because it's literally, I mean, what's the likelihood of that occurring around me in my environments if this wasn't going on? And from what I'm reading off the internet, what they try to do is, uh, uh, like a target like me who is, who is dissected and deconstructed how they work okay in reference to their skits and their productions and their crafted expeditions what they and so i realized that i'm not i'm not even really i'm being stalked yes but the people they put along my path those people aren't stalking me from one location to another they're just put in a location that i'm going to and that i'm going to arrive at okay and then and when they get there and when and they're placed in certain geographical spots like see if i get on a green line trolley at Old Town. If they know I'm going to Old Town, they'll have one there at Old Town waiting for me to see their physical gestures they engage in, like putting their hands to their face or their finger. They're using their finger now multiple ways by doing this and doing this and doing this or just going like this or touching their blow on their crotch or by their by their lap. And, or they'll stand and hold the rail on the trolley and just hold their finger up. And this is done to make a target feel stalked because they see it so much it's about repetition repeating the physical gestures and the direct conversation tactics that in turn makes targets feel stalked because they got to know where you're at in order to do it but the actual people they're using aren't stalking you they're just placed along the routes that the manager knows you're on okay to engage in these tactics just like the three teenagers that were put on the bus on the 928 bus the very bus I was assaulted on um, on January 28th they were put on a bus that I was already on yeah, that I was already on, and they got on the bus route down the road after I had already got on the bus over at Stonecrest Plaza Walmart uh, bus stop, and they were put on the bus down the road to engage in organized talking physical gestures by putting their hands to their face, and then I and then they and then they happened to be on the very same bus when I came back from SDSU. Yeah, cause um, what did I do? I went to SDSU that day. I think that that was the day I went to SDSU. And then I took the uh, uh, SDSU to Fashion Valley and caught the 928 to take me back to Stonecrest Plaza is what I did. And they were on the 928 bus route. They were sitting in the back. And then they got off at the same stop I got off at. And I heard them talking behind me and I turned around and saw it was them. So I, I approached them and asked them about why they, they put their hands to their face. And they had, I caught them off guard and they admitted it on a digital tape recorder. And I uploaded that to a video. And this is literally how it's being done. So they know that I'm deconstructing how they operate. I'm figuring it all out, okay? And as a result, that takes away the mystification and somewhat the traumatization results of what's happening towards me, okay? And they know it as a result of the remote neural monitoring, as a result of them seeing how I'm not breaking down. They know that I'm, I'm starting to literally rejuvenate and recuperate from the traumas they've already expedited towards me while I'm still being subjected to the expeditions. So what they're doing now is trying to get along my route and mention gang stalking along my route to make me feel like I'm being stalked by a gang because my brain is still hearing it. Okay, so they want it, they want it to be able to be heard in my brain so the subconscious and the unconscious reacts to it. This is literally what they do. It's called psychological operations, San Diego, California.